Welcome back to the channel, guys. We are standing in front of our latest before and after house flip. This thing is a monster. Four bedrooms, three and a half bathrooms, over 3,600 square feet. I'm sorry, where's the house? <laughs> Hey Flipsters, I'm Lauren. And I'm Lincoln, and we are happily married. But not to each other. We're old friends from college, and we're flipping houses in the Austin, Texas area. And we're taking you along for the ride. jungle out here. Goodness, we gotta hire a landscaper for this thing pronto. It is wild out in the suburbs. Yeah, I would say there's some deferred maintenance in the yard here. Yes, yeah, so on normal flips, we don't do a lot of landscaping. It's hard to keep alive during the construction process. A lot of folks will rip it out, but this time, man, it's really all about just cleaning up this yard. There's too much landscaping. There's too much debris. We gotta get it out. Uh, yeah, we're gonna have a lot of work to do before we even get in the door. Oh, here it is. Oh, yes, it's a house. <laughs> Look at this one, it's a beauty. It's a big one. Once we clear out the foliage, this thing's got some curb appeal. You just can't see it from the curb. Yeah, it's got some potential. Once people can actually see the house, I think we're money. So normally we're showing you guys all the before and after numbers on these properties. This one, we don't own. We did it with an outside investment vehicle, so we're not actually allowed to share with you guys the numbers on this. But don't worry, we're still gonna show you the full before and after transformation. And let's talk about the numbers that we can talk about on this house. All right, this is a four bed, three and a half bath, 3,600 square foot house. It was built in 1999. Party like it's 99, baby. Hold up, it is. All right, enough of the outside, let's get inside. Okay. Aha! It's big! <laughs> that new house smell, look at this place. It's definitely a smell. Yeah, this definitely says Lakeway, Texas to me. <laughs> Maybe circa 1999. Man, Lakeway, Texas, you're getting a little bit more bang for your buck out here, okay? You know, you're pricing in bulk, you know? <laughs> you're buying by the pound out here. Your house, you get a lot more space. It's the Costco of real estate, really. Yeah, big and cavernous, and boom, you got your formal dining right off of the entryway. Looky here. It's kind of a nice location. You got access to the kitchen. It's a yeah. nice room. I think it has potential. If you're doing any formal dining, that is. Yeah, you know, whenever you don't actually have a dining room table in here, you realize how low these things are. Looking across, you've got this open space. I mean, if the entry wasn't so curvy, I'd say we could throw some French doors on here, but uh, probably not. They really didn't leave us much to work with. They took the carpet with them and the baseboards. This is a well-adhered baseboard. Check out all these holes. Yeah, gosh, we're gonna have to do some doctoring there. Uh, let's get into the main part. So on our way to this nice vaulted ceiling in the living space, you do have a powder room right here, which is, you know, I think we get rid of the dated wallpaper and uh, maybe some new flooring and fixtures and vanity and the whole deal. <laughs> Completely rip it out. Total remodel. I'm liking this room, yeah, it's nice and open, vaulted ceilings. It's got a good vibe. Um, I'm immediately drawn to this random nook. What goes here? Comment below, what would you place in this nook? What do you put in this nook? Are you calling it a nook? I thought this was more of a cranny. Um, a little figurine. Dried flowers? A hand-carved giraffe sculpture? Trophies? I don't have any trophies. Oh. A deer head? A deer head would be nice. A, oh, a Billy Big Mouth. Bass? Bass? Yeah, okay. It's a non-equilateral hexagon, really, if I'm being honest. Okay, so now we've got another, you know, we're the king and queen of ridiculously tall fireplaces. <sighs> Sheesh, look at this thing. This one's a little weird because you got a window on top of it, so it can't really extend the full height. You never know what to do with these things. They're so big and heavy and expensive to rip out. It doesn't look amazing, but it's also like, you can't get rid of it. Okay, so moving on to... Peekaboo. Hello. You've got little breakfast nook. Woo! Feeling this breakfast nook. Look at the vaulted ceilings. You got crown molding on crown molding. This is just molding paradise for your breakfast nook. Royalty, baby. Let's talk kitchen here. Oh man, you shouldn't have. I just thought we should celebrate. What year is this? 99. In 1999, I was hardcore prepping for the Y2K apocalypse, man. I was just canning a lot. What were you doing? My parents picked me up from a New Year's Eve party at 10.30 for that very reason. <laughs> End of the world, people. Look at the stove. Doesn't this look like a time capsule? 
Yeah. Let's get Saved by the Bell vibes all over it, you know? I think that's even later than Saved by the Bell. That's like that's um, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, like, was Twilight what out? What was happening in 1999? No. Just partying. Partying. Hit me, baby, one more time. Oh, yeah, it's got Britney Spears vibes all over it. <laughs> Leave Britney alone. Okay, so it's a big kitchen. <laughs> Definitely the countertops need to go. This is a weird countertop. I don't know what, something about it, the border. The border that matches the backsplash is weird to me. Yeah, I'm not sure I've ever seen that. And over here, you've just got exposed Those pipes. pipes. Yeah. Big old microwave hole. <laughs> Stick that in your microwave hole. This is a very workable kitchen space. You could really blow it up and go all out and frankly overdo it on a house like this that just needs to be brought into the 21st century. All right, moving on, let's go see the primary suite. Ooh, this is a big old room. Again, with the stacked crown molding, baby, 199 in the house. Yeah, I just absolutely hate these things, but what are you gonna do? I mean, you're gonna drop it down and lower the ceiling height, get rid of all the crown molding? Yeah, they're a little out of style, but the cost to make it right yeah. isn't worth it. It's better to just not fight the house. Work with it. Work with it, people. Work with what you got. And you got a giant primary bedroom suite, which is a nice selling feature. It's on the first level with buyer's love. I'm feeling good about that. And a nice size primary bathroom to go with it. Woo! Now I'm feeling the wallpaper in here. Woo! It's a vibe. Speaking of the 90s, you remember those magic eyes where you would like stare yes. into it and a shape would appear? I'm getting those vibes from this wallpaper, you know what I mean? Totally, like, I just feel like there's gonna be monkeys jumping out. <laughs> And the shiny brass. Why is shiny brass super 90s, but now the dull brass is so... Yeah, it's like I can't even look at this brass, it's too shiny. Dull it up and then it would be just modern and classy. We'd be talking about how much we love the mixed metals, but the shiny brass? Yeah. No. With chrome. So mm. bad. Dull brass is like humble brag. Shiny brass is like straight up. Gaudy, oh gaudy, it's so gaudy. Okay, well it's got your uh, favorites. Ooh, toilet room. Privacy. Oh, with the mixed wallpaper in here. It's the same border throughout. It's the same border, but now you've got this like circus tent vibe wallpaper. I think it's Laura Ashley vibes too. Who's Laura Ashley? Oh my God. Is that someone I'm supposed to know? Yes. Laura Ashley was an icon of the 1980s, okay? Really? Yes, she had a fashion empire, wallpaper, bedding, clothing. I had a matching dress with my mom. Was she on Full House? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Never heard of this person. Okay. okay. But I don't really understand the drop down ceiling. That's right a here. little weird. You know, it's in case you want to get it's up intimate. on top. It's intimate. You know, you can put a little sum up there. You bet your bottom dollar, if this is 1999 and I own this house, and I'm a bachelor, I'm putting liquor bottles, empty beer bottles, I'm decorating with alcohol. Comment below, how many parties did you go to where somebody decorated their apartment with liquor bottles? I know you were at some, I saw you at some. I played the fifth. Okay, up here we have a landing. I was gonna say, what is this? I think this is like a game room, Hangout second area. living area with a weirdly low arched window. It's weird to have an arched window this low. They're usually up high. Well, and it's weird that like <laughs> the blinds only part start of midway. It has blinds? Yeah, the blinds start halfway up on this yeah, thing. Yeah, I'm not really sure the point of those. Well, you know, it's like if you're sitting down and you need shade, and then if you're standing up, <laughs> okay. I don't know. Gotta love these columns with the trim caps. So decorative. So fancy. And then you come here, like, where is this going? And it's like, did you not think this through? Good. When you were designing this, like, where, what are we, yeah. what is happening? It's like a column emerges. It's like an implied column. Okay, so off of this little Gabriel hangout zone, you got this bedroom with an ensuite bathroom. Yeah, now this is nice for a guest room because it's got a private bathroom, yeah? Yep, and some more funky wallpaper. Oh my goodness, the wallpaper in this place. And more shiny brass mixed metal. <sighs> Woo! You gotta love it. So off of this little hangout, you've got not one, but two little secondary bedrooms. Yeah, they're both really nice sized. You know, you always start feeling better about the project when you come in here and you're like, what's happening with this? I don't know, but this is a coat of paint to just cover up the blue. I'm feeling like a Smurf was murdered in this corner. Murder, Smurfered. Smurder? Smurdered. Smurf and murder. A smurder happened in this corner. <laughs> First of all, why was blue paint or blue substance being splattered and sprayed? And what was blocking it? Why is there none on the carpet? 
And why, How did they manage to get none on the carpet? And why was there a piece of furniture not up against the wall, but just free floating right here in the room? So many questions. And this bedroom is even bigger, nice size. Ooh, 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 ooh. but wait. Spooky doorway. Spooky doorway to the attic. It's always these little short things. It's like, where do you put the door handle? You know, you put it at normal height and then it looks high on Hand the door. High. Or you put it mid, you know, height for the door. It's proportionate to the door, but then it's hard to reach. Why not just do like a regular door too? Well, these are all good questions. Comment below. What would you do with this tiny door and its knob? Now off this hallway, you've got this shared bathroom, again with the wallpaper, woo! Under the seat. Under the seat. Under the seat. Under the seat. Life is much better down where the wallpaper looks like fishies. Good one. It's fine. It's a bathroom. It's fine. Update cabinetry. What do I think about the floors? Um, Replace them? Yeah, I mean, I'm, kind of I'm, neutral I'm, block. I don't love anything mm. in here. Uh, moving on. All right, and on to the last room in the house. The, I don't know quite what to call this room. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. This is like the kind of room you always wanted in your house when you were growing up. I mean, I definitely hung out in some spaces like this growing up. I don't know about you. Oh yeah, man, you get the old Tamagotchi out, you know, play a little spin the bottle. Whoa. Like the, a ruckus room, a rec room, a Nintendo room, a hangout zone. Yeah, except didn't we just come from a hangout zone, a yeah. landing up here? So now you've got this Stage big- Stage performances. So dramatic. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead. Don't let me steal your thunder. You know what this room screams to me? I'll tell you Underage what- Underage drinking? Yeah, definitely. This is where, um, you know, a pensive teenager can just sit and this is, a, this is a mood and brood room. My parents just don't get it. My parents just don't understand, Freaking man. Losers. They just don't know what it's like. Enough brooding. We got no more time to be in our feelings. It is time to come up with a design plan and get this puppy started. So let's talk about the design for in the house. Now, we are gonna keep the layout the same on this one. We're not moving any walls or adjusting anything like that. So it's really gonna be about cosmetic materials. Because we're located out in the suburbs, we're gonna go with more of a traditional look, a little more of a safe design, if you will. If this house was in downtown Austin, we might go a little more bold or funky, but as it's out in the suburbs, we're gonna go with something that's on trend, but also has a timeless quality. So first off, we're going to paint the entire house just a nice creamy shade of white. We're gonna lay some really nice hardwood engineer floors throughout. It's a little bit darker in tone than we normally do. Usually we go with the light white oak look. This time we're gonna go just a shade darker, but I think it's gonna have that rich traditional warm feel which we're going for in this house. So we're gonna keep a very consistent look at this project. So in the kitchen and the bathrooms, we're gonna have gray cabinetry, which is a little bit fun, a little bit funky. Otherwise, we're keeping the countertops very clean, white quartz. We will run a white quartz backsplash in the kitchen, so the counters and the backsplash will match, which is a little higher end look. It costs a little more, but in this part of town, we're really driving a premium on the price. So normally I'm a wallpaper person, um, but this is like a lot of wallpaper and a lot of dated wallpaper. So we are gonna take that down. Now I don't want the design to be completely boring. So we are gonna inject a little bit of life on the floor. We have a really fun pattern tile that gives just a little bit of personality, but it's in kind of a muted tone for the colors. So it doesn't like grr, jump out at you like that wallpaper did. No magic eye happening with this tile. And then for the fixtures, currently all the fixtures are that shiny brass, which is not the cool brass, that's the uncool brass. So we'll be taking taking all of that away and we'll be replacing it with chrome, which is just a little bit more timeless of a material. Or who am I kidding? Probably in 20 years, they'll be mocking this as well. So, you know, for the time being, it's on trend and that is what we're going with in this project. So now that selections are made, our work is just beginning. Lots of work ahead of us, let's get started. Okay, demo day. Well, it has started, they are ripping out this Tile, starting with the floor. You know what that means. Floor up from the floor up. That's right. Cue that montage, baby. Okay, so mine are set back in the kitchen. When we got to demo and we started looking under the cabinets, we realized we had a little bit of mold on some of our cabinets. Don't even say the M word. Yeah, it's something we did not want to have spread or deal with, and we figured, you know, better safe than sorry. Cabinets, this is where your food's gonna go, you know, Gross. the heart of the home. Let's let's not mess around with the mold here. We need new cabinets anyway, let's get it out. You know, I mean, it is a big expense to do all new cabinetry. It's a fun one, because we get to design a whole new brand new kitchen, but all in all, what we're gonna pay to have them refurbished, painted, 
it's not, it's maybe a couple thousand dollar difference, so. You're gonna roll with the punches out here. I mean, after we addressed that issue and patched it and then you're gonna have mismatched cabinets, it just didn't make sense to keep them. I think we're better off just swapping them completely. Speaking of swapping out, we have laid the floor in the living room. I think it looks fabulous. This is not what we normally do in our projects. We have our tried and true oak floors. So these are still engineered oak, but they are a little bit darker stain than we usually do. Usually we have kind of more that European white oak look, but I kind of like them. It's something different. I mean, this is a much more traditional, kind of like a suburban house. It's not sort of inner Austin like what we normally do. So I think it works here, but you know, anytime you're putting down a new floor we haven't tried before, it's a bit of a risk. Speaking of risky, you gonna climb on this thing? Uh, no, I'm good. This is such a high ceiling in here. We had to bust out the scaffolding just to paint the ceiling, but yeah, I think we did a good job. It looks good. Yep, just a fresh coat of white everywhere. Really brightens the space. All right, we've got to get the rest of this flooring in and I am hoping our cabinets show up soon because otherwise that is gonna be the bottleneck on this project because we were not accounting for the shipping time for those cabinets. Fingers crossed. So if you're new to the channel, we now flip houses, not only for ourselves, but with our subscriber partners. So you could actually partner with us to flip a house here in Austin. We'll help you find the property. We'll help you scope the property, which tells you everything you need to do to the house. We'll get you your material list and we'll even oversee the construction and help you sell it on the back end. We've had a huge waiting list, but we are opening it back up to new subscriber partners. So don't miss your chance. Go check out the link in the description if you want to work with us to flip your own houses. Paint is happening right now, currently upstairs and downstairs. We do have our cabinets have arrived. And check out what we discovered mm -hmm. in this whole process. You can see that light in this little niche area. Does it look off center? Yes, it's driving me crazy. It's a four inch light. It's off center both to the back and to the right. It's very haphazard. Yes, the OCD is coming out. So we're gonna swap that out, get it in the right place. And these little touch up things, man, we gotta, we gotta address because there's a, like a lot of little small things that we gotta punch out before we can get this thing wrapped, staged on the market. Let's do it. All right, well, are you ready to see this thing? I feel like the 90s are back in style. You got your Doc Martens, the little choker necklaces. Mom jeans. This house is coming back in style in three, two, one. much lighter and it doesn't feel so dated and stale, right? Yeah, definitely fresh. And now with all the foliage gone, we can finally get that golf course view. This is what you're paying for, people. Yes, absolutely. Man, I'm just gonna retire right now. <laughs> Live that golf course lifestyle. I'm all about that. Cleaned up the dead trees, that palm tree, Shigong. And the landscaping is not over the top, it's just cleaned up and these trees are amazing on their own. Yep, feels good out here. Wait till you see the inside. What do you think? Wow, look at this. It's cleaned up cool, right? This dining space. I think this is very nice. I love the chandelier in here. Going for the wagon wheel, a little farmhouse-esque. Oh, very nice, yes. I was thinking it's very, it's almost like Game of Thronesy or something. <laughs> you know, big circular chandelier, but I like it. This very neutral room, but I think the staging really helps brighten it up, lift it up. Yeah, exactly. We kept a very neutral base, painted it nice coat of white. We actually kept all the wainscoting because I think it was super nice to begin with. Really helps make this space feel elevated. House is this big. We can't stage every room. It'll be so much furniture. We went with the dining room over like your home office space. You got to pick and choose because you don't want to go over the top and just blow through your budget. Yeah, agreed. And I think this is, this is a showstopper for a dining room. And I think this was the right choice to stage it. Mostly because it is off your fabulously new renovated kitchen. This is the star of this house. Yeah, this is gonna be the selling feature of this place. Look at this thing. 
I think it's beautiful. I love the gray cabinetry. You've got tons of storage, really nice quartz countertops. We ran the quartz countertops up as our backsplash on both sides, which is a little bit of a higher end, more expensive element. It's always a classy move. Don't forget, this is a big house and a really nice area, so we're gonna be asking top dollar. We've gotta do the extra little touches to make sure that we get that. We're out here, we're in Lakeway, we're out in the suburbs, so we're not as funky as we would go if we were closer into the city. This is much more of a neutral, classic kind of palette. I think it really works for this area. Yeah, the materials we picked are on trend, but they're also got a timeless quality, so which I think is really important when you're designing for something in the suburb. You've got at least 20 years before people start making fun of it on the internet, yeah, right? Yeah, exactly. Off your kitchen, you got your little breakfast nook area, which I think is kind of cute. Leads out to your back patio, and can't you just imagine kids having breakfast, yelling, throwing toys at you while you're in there trying to cook some eggs? Yeah, so we didn't have an island in this kitchen, so it is nice to have an eat-in option where you're still a part of the action. You got your choice. You've got your little sitting area. You could also cozy up to the bar, which I'm sure people will want to do, but let's talk about the living room off your kitchen. This again is a show-stopping piece. You've got your tall vaulted ceilings, double windows, nice central focus on the fireplace. We didn't change it up. I, we thought it was good to begin with. Coordinates with the stone exterior. I love this Austin stone, this limestone. It's classic. Not my favorite like art shape, but in the context of the rest of the house being updated, I think it still works. And I'm glad we didn't try and like completely redo it. Yeah, we did redo the floors. I'm loving that we went with a little bit darker tone here. It kind of gives a little more traditional vibe than sometimes we go a lot of like the Scandinavian look. Mm -hmm. But if you go just a tad bit darker, it works. Let me tell you how glad I am that we centered the light up there, okay? That is definitely gonna be the thing that buyers notice, and that's what's gonna sell this house, for sure. So we kept it clean and simple in this powder room. We added a new vanity, light, mirrors. I think it's nice and clean, and most importantly, functional. All right, so our primary bedroom is located on the first floor, which is a total selling feature, but we wanna save that best for last, so let's head upstairs first. So heading upstairs, you'll notice we didn't do a ton up here. Just nice, fresh coat of paint, laid some new carpet throughout. This is a big space up here, lots of nice bedrooms. And the bathrooms, we kept them very simple. We kept the same cabinetry as downstairs in the kitchen and added a fun pattern tile. And then of course, there's that big bonus room. I love this space, lots of natural light. Okay, I'm gonna resist saying the piece de resistance, but I just can't help it. This is a big old room. You got these tray ceilings. You got this nice sitting area overlooking your backyard. I mean, this is really, a, you know, a primary suite. Everything about this house is big. The suite is big. The living room is big. Those upstairs areas are so big. This is for somebody who needs to roam about, you know? They can't be cooped up. We're living large in Lakeway, people. Let's check out this bathroom because I think this is my favorite room in the house. I love this space. I think this and the kitchen are gonna be what sells this place. We kept the matching floors for the upstairs bathroom and the gray cabinets to match the kitchen. Looks great. I love the L shape. I feel like it's super functional for two people sharing a bath. This shower is oversized and quite nice. And then of course you have your jetted tub. Now we worked our magic on this jetted tub because it was dark and yellowed and the plastic was old and faded. It looks like a brand new tub, but we just cleaned up that plastic, bleached it out a little bit. I think it looks really nice. I'm not a huge jetted tub person. No, I love this bathroom. I think it is very clean, neutral, and timeless. I think the project turned out great. Super excited to get this one wrapped. I mean, the 90s were great and all, but it's time to get back to 2023 and on to the next project. Time flies. We'll see you on the next one. Peace. You've got your nice little private toilet off of this area. With a window. Yeah, what's not to love? Make sure you crack that window, people. <laughs> <laughs> Gross. <laughs>